Hello and welcome. In this video I want to show how I built a class 20 locomotive for my 5 inch garden railway and also some information about the actual locomotives. The original class 20 locomotives were built by English Electric between 1957 and 1968. They were of 1,000 horsepower and were consequently in the Type 1 category. Weight was 73 tonnes with a Bobo wheel arrangement and a maximum speed of 75 miles an hour. The number series was D8000 to 8199 and 8300 to 8327. Originally in green, enthusiasts knew them as choppers. The original locomotives were built with disc indicators, but after 8127 they were provided with head code boxes. And because of their long bonnet, visibility was restricted when driving with bonnet leading. Consequently, they invariably worked in pairs, bonnet to bonnet. They were undoubtedly one of the success stories of the 1955 Modernisation Plan pilot scheme and several have lasted well into railway privatisation, most notably with DRS. Plus at least 22 have been preserved and here is one of them, 20227 at the North Norfolk Railway. So now back to the model. The first thing I had to do was work out the size. Obviously it has to fit onto bogies and wheels for a 5 inch gauge track. It has to be able to accommodate two car batteries and it has to look right. And this is always a compromise but I think I've got it just about right. I've used pictures um, of these locos to try and get the right scale of things particularly the cab windows doors the access doors along the bonnet the main chassis I made up of some checker plate that I had in stock and also some alloy angle just to stiffen it and to form the sides um, there's a piece of wood there I've screwed on to support the coupling at the rear uh, holes for the wires and also two bolts to form pivots for the bogies and also a piece of wood at the front. The cab I made up of 9mm MDF back and front with a sheet metal roof and 2mm plastic card sides. Clear plastic formed the windows with windscreen wipers made from matchsticks. The uh, parkside control box I thought I'd put inside the cab to make easy access and also so I can connect the speed controller more easily. The roof uh, is detachable, just four screws, just in case I might need to get inside or change the control box or whatever. The bonnet or engine compartment cover whatever you like to call it is made up from 9mm MDF sides 
braced with more 9mm MDF ribs which also support the roof panels. The roof is made from 1mm sheet metal bent round a wooden former to give the required shape. And the front is made up of some thick MDF moulded with a router. And here we have the inside of the bonnet showing the MDF ribs which just fit over the battery but still maintain the right profile and uh, proportions. Uh, wires there to a couple of LED front marker lights and the fan was an old computer fan from Maplin's which isn't actually wired up and you can see again the cutouts I've had to make for the wires and bits and pieces that that has to cover. Now there's a front and rear the indicator discs are just white plastic card there's some LED lights and here's the bonnet roof in primer and the sides of the cab and exhaust in various stages of paint. Now we have the bonnet in the primer and then in the final coat which is Phoenix Paints Rail Blue. Here's another view. The front is yet to be fixed on. The handrails are on or some of them which are just alloy rod fixed on with split pins. By the way all the MDF was um, treated with PVA before any painting to seal it. Now here we have the decals had been applied. I thought that the numbers could have been a bit bigger but according to Fox Transfers they were suitable for 5 inch scale but I think I should have probably have got seven and a quarter uh, they just look a bit weeny under under the uh, window there so let's have a look at the inside now it's virtually finished two MCBs there one on the circuit from the batteries to the control box and the other one from the control box to the motors uh, partly for protection and partly to enable me to isolate circuits. There's the battery leads, uh, two batteries in series to give us 24 volts, motor cables, four per pair of motors and there's a red and black cable there for the front lights. The bit of MDF will eventually have the um, sound unit and loudspeaker on it. Now the rear of the cab, the yellow is Rover or Helford's Rover Inca Yellow which is um, a direct match for Phoenix Paints Rail Yellow but um, a little bit cheaper. And there's two red LED lights there, uh, they work off a 12 volt tapping off one of the batteries. And here you see well, one of my batteries, I've only got one of these at the moment and you can see I couldn't make the bonnet any narrower otherwise um, the battery wouldn't fit obviously and I can't really make the body and chassis any wider because it would completely swamp the motors it would be, the motors would be lost and or the bogies would be lost underneath so I just had to compromise and um, that's what I've come up with. Now the reason I chose this model is because it is fairly straight uh, to make. The sides are straight. Yes the roof needs a bit of forming but that wasn't too bad. The only thing is it, it should be tapered at the front slightly and that would have given me uh, problems shaping the roof at the front so I, I used a bit of uh, artistic license and didn't do that. Um, all the detail along the side is um, either wood or plastic and uh, I'm quite pleased with it actually. I've still got to get a sound unit and another battery um, and then we'll try it out. I think it's uh, yeah I think it will be a nice addition to my fleet.